not believe her. Free run is so ridiculous. Go back into the town. Yes, this is so exciting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dana, and today we're watching episode 13 of Free Run. I love this show. I think I say that every time I open one of these videos, but I mean it. I love this show. Everything about it is so masterfully made, and I just can't wait to continue along the story. It's almost bittersweet, though, because I think I'm about halfway through the show now, and that means... I will be done with it soon. Not soon, but like eventually the time will come when I have to say goodbye to Free Ren. And one of you said that it did take three years for them to make this first season. So will I have to wait another three years for the next one to come? I don't know, I don't know. But it was really sweet in the last episode getting to know a little bit more of Stark's backstory and seeing that at least someone in his life has cared about him. And to see that like Stark wasn't this fearful kid that ran away from his home as we've previously been told. We are able to see that Stark ran because he had to. His whole village was being killed and his brother told him, run away. You're a little kid. You can't do anything right now. And if they, the strongest people in this village, couldn't do anything, all likelihood Stark couldn't either. But it might have been like a Gohan situation in Dragon Ball Z that he just had a bunch of power within him that he couldn't unlock at the time. That through time, growth, and a little bit of training, he's able to unlock that strength now. I don't know. I don't know. But I really did enjoy that episode. And, and seeing a sillier, goofier side of Free Ren, I love when they show those things like in the bed when she was like rolling around and she was like, oh, let me show you the little gift that I got for Stark. And she was like, mm. you know, I just love all of these little moments. And it just feels so, I don't know, authentic, real, gritty that I'm really a part of their journey. And I'm just a fly on the wall, just watching them grow, evolve, and just enjoy the journey. And I, I love it so much. They've really approached the story in such a great way. And that's one of the ways that I've really loved the way that they approach this story. It's just that I just feel like I'm part of it. I feel like I'm seeing every little bit of their journey. It's not just the highs, the ultimate lows. I'm seeing the middle parts. You know, the parts that wouldn't normally be shown. And I, I very much enjoy that. I am loving this show, but even more so, I am loving watching it with you guys. So please do make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So one, you can support my channel as the Dana Dub Nation tries to take over the world. And two, so you can be part of the super exclusive club of people that get to see my video when they first come out. I mean... How awesome is that? And while you're down there, you might as well stop by and say hi in the comments. Don't be shy, I'll say it back. And while we're watching, please make sure that you fill me in on any cool, fun facts, or if I misinterpreted something, please fill me in on the situation, because I really do love this show and I want to experience it in the best way, and the best way is to experience it with you guys. And so you can be one of my anime friends of the day. My anime friends are my commenters that have made my day. And actually in my last video, I couldn't just choose one. I really want to thank all of you guys, but especially want to highlight these comments right here. Michael R. Brown, LH6KN, I want to thank you so much because you have been my top commenter on all of my free run videos. You have been giving me fun facts, insight, little things that I've missed, and it has really enriched my whole experience with this show, and I can't say thank you enough. I am loving our discussions in the comments, so thank you, keep it up. I hope that everyone else is also getting something out of your comments too, reading them and enjoying them as well. And then also thank you to Genesis HEP for your comment on my reaction to him will not being able to get the sword out of the stone. I completely misinterpreted that situation. I thought that really affected him in the negative way. And that was why he had all these statues built of himself and he was trying to compensate for this loss. But really what they meant by that scene that it was more of an inspirational feat for him. And he didn't have to prove that he was some hero that he could still do these things without it so thank you so much for pointing that out i look at that whole scene in a whole different light and i also completely forgot that he told free Ren that the statues were so she wouldn't feel alone so thank you so much to all of you that comment on my videos i can't wait to see what discussions we have today so to get that i guess we gotta get into this episode so are you guys ready i am let's get into it starting in three two one 
Go. I know an adventurer when I see one. Who's this guy? A thrilling profession you've got. I once hoped to join your ranks. I guess that's what kids do. Dream big foolish dreams that always fall flat. They don't have to fall flat though. Dream big. Always. Alrighty. Let's skip the intro. Nice. When I was younger, I played side I really love the way that they draw trees and forests in this show. The landscapes are just gorgeous. That said, he was a good kid who always cared for his friends. As we grew up, I forgot our dreams of braving the unknown. Mm. Until he invited me to join his party and become the real thing. Nice. Is he gonna get killed? I wonder how different my life would be if I'd only taken his hand back then. Ah, uh, you always regret the decisions you don't say yes to. And I regret it to this day. And why exactly are you sharing this with me? <laughs> well, my why are you showing this with me? Coming up. My brother sent me into the woods to find some herbs for cooking, which should have been no issue. But you see, uh, does he have to? I fell in a bottomless swamp, and it became one. Hear me out. Has she been watching him sink this whole time and just watching, not doing anything? Don't let yours be not taking mine. You have a chance to change my fate here. Oh, free Ren. Just give me a moment. Oh, free Ren. Oh my gosh. Come on. Don't let this guy <laughs> worry so much that you you won't save him. That's what he's thinking. You can wash your hands off later, can't you? And besides, miss, to a certain extent, we grown-ups are dirty by nature. Please. I've met countless adults, but none quite as filthy as- Oh my gosh. I must ask you for more time. If you would let me think, I might recall this belt to pull you out. Got it. But could we pick up the pace a bit? <laughs> oh my gosh, Freeran is so ridiculous. I remember. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe her. You're so welcome. Sorry for the trouble my mistress caused. Hey, I'm in no spot to complain. Your friend there saved my life. Perhaps, but regardless, I will scold her. <laughs> I love their relationship. By the village before you go? We're busy preparing for the festival. It's funny, it seems like they're always getting into these towns as they're having a celebration, a festival, some kind of something. Understood. Well, in that case, be careful. There are a lot of dangerous, venomous creatures out there in those woods. They'll end up going back. Oh. Uh, uh. Just as they said. Hey, something just bit me. There's no reason to go back. <laughs> told to be on the lookout for that sort of danger mere moments ago. First things first, let's bandage the wound. My nose might be bleeding a little. That was quick. Any spell that has to do with identifying... Poison. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of blood that's coming out. I don't recognize this reaction. So that you know what you have to do? Go back into the town. Oh my gosh. Look how much blood is on that that towel. The handkerchief. We have about 30 minutes since it consumes a lot of mana. Unfortunately, that won't get us all the way to the town. We'll have to head back to that village. Mm-hmm. Leave moving the patient to me. It's really not that big a deal. I'm going to be fine, trust me. My master taught me that the best way to beat poisons is to just tough them out. I don't think so. I have seen Eisen take several poison-coated arrows to the back and He is also a dwarf. It was enough to knock out a dragon. Heiter was appalled. He is also a dwarf. You get it? No. The only thing that tale proves is Mr. Eisen is very far from normal. Poison's the cause of 20% of adventurer deaths. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be part of that 20%. Why? This is complete over. <laughs> they rarely ever fly. It's kind of nice to watch them fly. I'm afraid you're too late. A few hours from now, his brain will start to melt. <laughs> I know he's joking. And then he'll die. Okay. Terrifying. <laughs> Please guide us, Father. There must be something we can do for him. That bite was deadly and could typically only be cured. Oh, he's being serious. But perhaps my brother will be able to help you. Ha ha ha. Problem, brother. We both agree this new. It would be him. Small, right? There's honor and poverty. Sure, to a point, maybe. But impoverishing down to a tub fit for fingertips seems extreme. At least a tub that you can put your feet in. Take a look at this boy for me, Zion. He's like, oh, you. These are the adventurers I was telling you about. They're the folks who rescued me. Hmm. Look at you. Oh my gosh. By a snake, huh? 
Glad you took my warning. But so much blood is coming out of his nose. Oh, he's a healer. So long. I'm going to help out at the plaza. Nice. That's fitting that he works in the church. And there's no brains. Seems the effects of the poison are gone. Freeman's like, I must know the spell. Is he? He's my little brother. And quite the priest. That holy symbol around your neck. That's what... It's awarded to the most outstanding priest in a region by the holy capital. That looks like what the monk uh, whittled for Fern. Right? A top level healing expert called Incurable. He's no less than a genius. I had a feeling you of all people would know. Got freer and impressed. Who I was. Mr. Heiter told me many a story about you. Oh, and he knows Heiter and her. He gave me this. He came from the capital to observe us. Ah. He thought I was doing rather well. However, I'm still just a provincial priest in a small village. Oh, how sweet is this? And while I'm very proud, the truth is, my ability doesn't even compare to Zion's. Mm. You see, we lost our parents. He was just a child when it happened. Mm -hmm. Though I was young myself when they passed away, I raised my brother. When he was little, you know, this is interesting because um, an one of you pointed out that all of Freeman's parties have been orphans. Got some more orphans right here. I don't think they're gonna add to the party, but with eyes full of hopes and dreams, that shine has dimmed now. Yeah, as it becomes more like me each passing year. That's sad. I hope he can get his light back. Taking for something greater. Mm -hmm. So please, take my brother with you on your journey and away from this village. Aww. It's perfect. You clearly need a priest, and I'm certain he needs someone to give him that final push. Oh, guys. Come on, Freeran. He's an easy yes. He doesn't seem like he is the right fit for the party, Whatever it is, but it be worth I like him. Coming out of my nose again. He would make things safer, and our journey's headed deeper into the unknown from here. Why are you acting so wary, Mistress Freerin? Mm, an aversion to my own kind, I suppose. <laughs> I love the facial expressions that she makes. So cutesy. I'm inviting him whether you like it or not. Where's he going? He just told you. Maybe the bar downstairs? I get the feeling Mr. Zine spends a lot of time there. Of course. Alcohol. Tobacco. Mm hmm. Gambling. Get another crooked, oh, cr crooked priest. Yeah, another corrupt just getting to priest. Know my fellow man. Care to join us, kid? The name is Stark. And I'm no and kid. I ask you to join us. We are looking for a priest. <laughs> That's a funny joke. How fitting. Uh, I'm already a priest for the village. I can't go adventuring. Your brother's also a priest. Wait. Don't turn down adventuring twice. You just said you wish you wouldn't have done that. If you can beat me at a hand, I'll join your party. Are you for real? Man of the cloth and my word. Okay. <laughs> Mistress Freerin, I think I just heard Mr. Stark yell from downstairs. <laughs> We grown ups are dirty, and we play dirty too. Someone's robbed him blind too. That someone would be the village chief. The tyrants got Lady Luck on a leash. Oh my gosh! I hear that you're looking for a priest. Look elsewhere. You want to become an adventurer, don't you? There's a massive difference between want and wanted. It's too late for me now. It's not too late. So this could be the perfect time. This is your second chance. When some, and when you get an opportunity the second time... I don't have the wardrobe for it. <laughs> don't have the wardrobe. When you get the opportunity the second time, don't turn it away. Join our party. It's too late for me. Oh, man. It's been over 500 years now since I last fought a demon. Exactly what she said. Well, not exactly, but... I deferred that decision for centuries too long. I missed the moment this adventure would have made sense for me. It'll make sense now. Probably because I was far too cowardly to face him. None of that matters, Freeren. Don't dwell on the past when you have the present. Don't dwell on the past when you have the present. That's a good one. Find someone else. I love that she said the same words as him. This is really showing her growth 
and she's such a good mentor like you less sign she's the person to guide people to great things so i've decided you're gonna join us okay i was wrong he is definitely gonna join the party that makes so little sense it's scary you saved me so toasty guys I love this! A whole new person! I can't wait it! I can't wait! He said we should take our time and enjoy the Harvest Festival. Then he gave it all back to me for free. A nice man. It's your lucky day. Here, Mr. Stark. Put these on. She's like, I cannot even touch it with all of my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> I believe these are yours, Mr. Zine. Mmm. Well, hell, someone's grumpy. What'd I do to set her off? For starters, you robbed poor Stark of all his possessions. People who gamble are the lowest of the low. <laughs> I get it. I'm sorry. And to think, that man's supposed to be a I love that she's lecturing them. In my book. But Mr. I am disappointed in you. Alcohol is the very best medicine. How dare Heiter poison your young mind? <laughs> Regardless of whether he to come with us or not. Oh my gosh. I do feel that Zion should become an adventurer. That idea has really grown on you since this all began. I realize that it might be nice to give someone the push they need. Just like she got. Just like Himmel the hero gave to me. Aw. Oh, giving back. I think adventurers decided to hang around. I don't think he's gonna join their party, but she's gonna um convince them convince him to join a party or to just adventure on his own they've been trying to recruit me every day since their arrival i love the persistence i've tried my best to make them stop oh my gosh again my efforts have been in vain they invite me on adventures with cheer in their voices and eyes full of hopes uh... and dreams, like he did back then don't turn the them down. To travel around the northern lands for a bit. I'll be back around the harvest three years from now. If you aren't Did he never come back? That, you can join me then. Let's go on our next adventure together. I wonder if that's also why he's so sad because his friend never came back. Every time they try to recruit me, I wonder why now. They radiate hope. Yeah. Too bright for my tired eyes. Nah, just open your eyes. You open your eyes, bud. Likes. For what? We can't seem to win him over. So we're looking for ideas. What does my brother like? Alcohol, tobacco, and gambling always seem to attract. <laughs> I love how that's the <laughs> first things that come to mind. Master Heiter was in good company. All serious priests like to drink. Let me see. What he adores more than anything is older women. How fitting of our depraved priest. Older ladies. Huh? For your insight. Thank you. I'm older. I'm not entirely sure what to do with that information. They both look to her like, Hello. come on, Freyrin. Your... Ah, that's right. You're kidding me. This sickle is too small to use. Don't you think? It can hardly cut grass. It's like when you order something online and you didn't look at the size. That is what keeps happening to him. That's happened to me before for Halloween. I ordered a goblet and I thought it would be a big one. And he came and it was like thing. <laughs> look at who you're talking to. The thought of that very scenario was why I wanted to be an adventurer in the first place. What a motive. <laughs> I'm on the edge of my seat. Where is this vixen of which you speak? I've been looking right at her, Zine. Did you realize I'm an elf? As far as older women go, I'm as old as you can get. He's like, oh. I knew Not that kind of old. I think my brother mentioned that. <laughs> He's like, ugh. I am not interested in you. You're too cruel. She hardly looks like a woman, let alone older. He seems so distressed. This is true. Freya does look... Young. No desire to take it to this level, but you leave me no choice. Oh no, what is she gonna do? The time has come to use the ancient seduction technique taught to me by my master. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, free Ren! Uh, what was that? I blew you a kiss, of course. Oh, free Ren! Too young to appreciate it, son. Oh my gosh, she is so cute! Twisted child home. That was way too steamy for me. What's the deal with you two? That's odd. When I tried the very same maneuver on him, it knocked him out cold. Himmel! Because Himmel loved you. Wicked woman. How bizarre. I'm with you. 
If I had been the target of your attack, I would have been in grave danger. As depraved as he is, he's still a holy man and a formidable foe. That's enough already. <laughs> I'm not becoming an adventurer, so quit. But I thought that you wanted to go after your friend. You told her this whole story. You understand my reason, brother. Do I, Zang? Yes, he please tell us all. Back here in three years. And he never came back. He hasn't been back for ten. The obvious explanation is that he's dead. So you're going to give up without ever going to look for him? Mm, good point, Freyrin. Ten years isn't as long as you think. The more time that you wait, the greater and greater that number will grow. Mm -hmm. You'll wonder if you could have made it if you'd left town with us. Yeah? It's too... Too late, you suppose, correct? I think he's also staying Don't hoping that maybe his friend will still come back. So if he leaves, he might have missed his opportunity to run into him. I can't go. Couldn't then, can't now. It's been 10 years and I still have the same reason. It's not so much that I would miss this village. I can't leave my brother behind. You're scared of leaving me. He's, Why is that? He's like, I can do a final Mr. Minute. Heiter came to observe us years ago. I heard you both talking. I mean, this is a long time ago. He's a child. Oh, my lad. There's no doubt you could serve as a priest in the holy capital. Me. Oh, that's when he was a child. I see. Yes. This is his brother. Without question. That sounds great, but what would happen to my little brother if I chose to go? He'd come with you, of course. Mr. Heiter, I deeply appreciate the offer, but my life here is just fine. More than that, it's what my brother knows. We tragically lost our parents when he was young, you see. Mm -hmm. This village is his home. I do thank you, but I can't take away the Wow, that's a very sweet brother. Situation. Very thoughtful. I suppose I wasted my time by coming here. But if I'm already wasting time, perhaps I'll talk with your brother. The little ones always get a kick hearing the tales of my adventures. My brother had a chance to leave this village, but he stayed for me. And that was one of the reasons. Is that the reason you've made yourself miserable? Oh! You must see that you and I are not the same. The decision to stay was mine to make, and I have never in my life regretted it. Mm. Don't pretend that you can say as much. How long do you intend to regret your choice? For shame. Sometimes you do need somebody to not literally slap you, but like slap you with their words, wake you up. Get you out of that downward spiral in your mind that you can just be obsessing over a certain thought. He needed that someone to wake him up. I apologize to my brother. Please don't get the wrong idea about the man. He's kind as can be. He's never once laid a hand on me before. It just shows how strongly he feels about this. Mm, that's he a lot of passion. You won. I'm going to become an adventurer. My friend might need me. Ten years isn't as long as you think. Well, yes! Looking for him is my main goal. He's the reason I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. I hope he's still alive. That ape. And make our ridiculous childhood dreams come true. Yes. I'll travel with you for now. But hopefully I'll find him soon. Oh, interesting. Okay, so he actually will join their party. I thought he would travel on his own. Nice. Oh, they go they gained another person. I didn't think they would. This is so exciting. See you later, brother. Maybe I should have asked this before, but where are you headed? Heaven, of course. Is that some place you need to work to get to? We'll all end up there when we die. Ethan, you'll end up there, Mr. Zahn. <laughs> My, what a start. She doesn't beat around the bush, does she? No, it's great. Hey, at least you're in it with me, buddy. <laughs> Stark's like, finally, I've got I've got another male in the party. And you are right. Wow, that was a quick episode, huh? I'll say the pacing on that episode was amazing because I was very surprised that it was over. That was nice. That, that was a great episode. I really enjoyed watching that. So yeah, going back to something I was saying before, I think it's really interesting that one of you guys pointed out that all of the people in Freerun's party have all been orphans. Freerun herself, Stark, Fern, now this guy, I actually don't know his name. And then also Himmel and Heiter were orphans. They were in the same orphanage together. I'm assuming Aysen was, I don't really remember too much of his 
backstory if I'm being honest I think that's really interesting it's like they're all becoming each other's family and I think that's really beautiful mama fern mama fern see that's my first thing <laughs> that comes to mind but no if mama free ren and all of her children I don't know but I I think it's really beautiful and I'm curious to see just who else will join the party now along their own journey like free ren is helping them all kind of achieve their dreams along life as they venture towards heaven trying to help them notice their strengths live out their dreams make connections with the other people in their party have a good time on their way to a railway and i feel like that's really symbolic to just life you know helping them to enjoy life as they go to the end of it because i guess like their lives are so such a small percentage of her life but that is their entire life like she will be 90 percent of their lives where they will be like 10 percent of hers which i think is really interesting and i think they do all help complete each other but that was a really nice episode and even though i don't remember this guy's name i really like that he is joining the party i really didn't think they would add anybody else but now i'm starting to feel like they're gonna add a whole bunch of people that will like come and go as the party is you know going along their path and i think that'll be really beautiful to see these new people and then also to say goodbye to them as well yeah i i liked that episode it started out really funny because i was like oh my gosh is free really just standing here watching this guy sink further and further and further and like not doing anything about it but yeah I, that, that was nice and now they have a healer in their party and it's funny because he is like the reincarnation of Hyter. so everyone is kind of like a reincarnation of someone originally i thought fern was that replacement for Hyter, but i think actually fern is the replacement for himmel within the party for freerin she is the person that freerin loves the most has gained the biggest connection with and has helped push her along and experience new things that I think she wouldn't have otherwise. And I really love that Freyrin is taking all of these lessons and experiences that she's gotten from her previous party and using that to kind of like, I've gotten this, let me help give it to someone else. Like, oh, someone gave me that push that I needed to begin adventuring again, to get out of my rut and to live life again. So let me help this person to live life again to achieve these dreams that they've wanted to do but they think it's too far gone to do so i think that's really beautiful and i love that she is doing that and helping people it, it just shows so much character growth and i really love watching everyone grow in this story and i'm excited to see what is going to happen in the next episode so to make sure that we can watch it together make sure you like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when the next one comes out and in the meantime i do upload a new video every single day and if you have made it to this point in the video comment the clinking glass emoji because one i want to know who's watching to the end of my videos because you are the real one and also i just want to cheers with you because that episode just it made me want to cheers my glass to somebody it just put me in a good mood and cheers <laughs> Alrighty, guys well i will see you tomorrow with the next video Alrighty, till then.